This actually happened to me the other day, so I'm recreating this to show you how I got the impression out. Now I'm going to get a chisel that I bought at Ace Hardware. You could probably get them anywhere though. But I did sharpen the edge up just a little bit, and I'm just putting it at the edge of my, my piece, tapping that off. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to get the pressing out. These are uh, watch screwdrivers, but I altered the end of a few of them. I put it on my belt sander and sanded it kind of angled and sharp. I use the smallest one. Okay, so I'm just going to put that at the very, very edge of my impression and tap the back end with a hammer, a small hammer. So I'm just going to tap it all around and just kind of pry it away from the edge of my impression die. I'm speeding it up a little bit so you won't have to sit through 10 minutes. <laughs> now if you don't have your impression die against something that's secure, it will move around every time you tap it. So make sure that it's against something that doesn't move. See, I'm just going all around, just a little bit at a time, just prying the edge away from the uh, impression die. Now, you'll see here that the edge of the impression die is my the best word I can come up with. It chingers it up a little bit. Okay, so now I've lifted the edge all the way around and now I'm focusing in this one spot, angling it just a little bit, and now I can pull it out with my chain nose pliers. Now I'm gonna smooth out the edge of my impression die. I'm going to use some silicone polishers. They, they have different grits on them. So I start out with say an 80 grit, um, then go to 120 grit, etc. But I just want to smooth that out. So this is what I'm doing right now. Just going all the way around. And then once I get it to a certain point, then I'm going to go to a finer grit. Now that I've removed most of the little roughness where I messed it up, uh, now I'm going to go ahead and use the radial disc on there. So this is an 80 grit and just clean the whole thing up. Okay, good as new. The reason I filmed this today is because, like I said in the beginning of the video, this did happen to me recently. I had borrowed an impression die from a friend and it stuck that bad. So that's how I got it out. So I thought in case this happened to you and you weren't quite sure how to get it out, I recreated everything I did to show you. And now if you do it a different way, if yours gets stuck and you do it a different way, please share it. Okay, I pressed it a second time and it looks great. So thank you for watching.